Welcome to our video on Ancient Roman Concrete. Throughout history, the Romans have been known for their impressive engineering and architectural achievements. One of the most striking examples of their ingenuity is their use of concrete. The concrete used by the Romans has long been considered a mystery due to its durability and strength, standing the test of time for thousands of years. Recently, a joint research team from Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or MIT, conducted a study to uncover the secret behind Roman concrete's longevity. This is a groundbreaking discovery, and in this video, we will explore the research team's findings and the implications for modern construction. The durability of ancient Roman concrete has been a mystery for centuries. Many experts have been puzzled by how structures built by the Romans thousands of years ago are still standing strong today. The Pantheon, for example, is the world's largest unreinforced concrete structure and remains one of Rome's most iconic landmarks. Scholars have long believed that the secret to Roman concrete strength was the use of volcanic ash called pozzolana. This material was thought to be the key ingredient that gave Roman concrete its unique properties and made it resistant to the elements. However, as the research team from Harvard and MIT delved deeper into the makeup of Roman concrete, they discovered that something else was at play. The true key to the durability of ancient Roman concrete was something that had been overlooked for centuries. The research team made a groundbreaking discovery that challenged the traditional understanding of Roman concrete. They discovered that the key ingredient in Roman concrete was not pozzolana, but limestone. The Romans used a type of limestone called quicklime, which is made by heating limestone to extremely high temperatures. When quicklime is mixed with water, it creates a highly reactive paste-like material. This process was used by the Romans to create concrete for their buildings. But why is this important? The high temperatures used in the creation of quicklime lead to chemical reactions that are not possible with regular limestone. These reactions create a self-healing ability in the concrete. When water flows through cracks in the concrete, the limestone reacts and the crack is sealed. This is what gives ancient Roman concrete its amazing durability and longevity. It seems the ancient Romans had discovered a way to create concrete that could not only withstand the test of time but also repair itself. This is truly a remarkable achievement. Now that we know the secret behind Roman concrete, let's take a look at some of the benefits it provides. One of the most significant advantages of using quicklime is that it shortens the curing and hardening time of the concrete. This means that construction can be completed more quickly, saving time and resources. But the real magic of Roman concrete lies in its self-healing abilities. The chemical reactions caused by the high temperatures used in the creation of quicklime allow the concrete to repair itself when water flows through cracks. This means that ancient Roman structures can still be standing and in use today, thousands of years later. It is truly remarkable to think about the structures built by the Romans that are still standing and functional today, such as the aqueduct still providing water or the Pantheon still being used as a place of worship. It is a testament to the durability and longevity of Roman concrete. The research conducted by Harvard and MIT not only sheds light on the impressive engineering of ancient Rome but also has important implications for modern construction. The use of quicklime in Roman concrete is not a practical solution for large-scale contemporary construction, but the principle of self-healing materials is something that can be applied in modern construction. One concern of modern concrete production is the impact it has on the environment. Cement, a key ingredient in concrete, is responsible for a significant amount of greenhouse gas emissions. By understanding the principles behind Roman concrete, scientists and engineers can develop new ways to create durable and sustainable concrete. Potential solutions to this issue include the use of alternative cementitious materials, such as fly ash or slag, and incorporating self-healing mechanisms in modern concrete. Researchers are also looking into methods of capturing and storing carbon dioxide from the cement making process. The research on ancient Roman concrete is not only a fascinating study of history, but it also holds the potential to improve modern construction and help us create a more sustainable future. In conclusion, the research conducted by Harvard University and MIT has revealed the true secret behind the durability of ancient Roman concrete. It turns out that the key ingredient was not pozzolana, as was previously believed, but limestone, in particular, quicklime. This discovery has significant implications for modern construction, as it highlights the potential for creating self-healing concrete. It's worth noting that ancient building techniques can provide valuable insights for contemporary construction. 
by understanding the principles that made Roman concrete so durable and sustainable, we can create new, environmentally friendly construction methods. As the world continues to grapple with the challenges of climate change, it is more important than ever to invest in sustainable construction methods. This research is just the beginning, and we must continue to invest in research and development to create truly sustainable building materials. We hope this video has been informative and has sparked your interest in the history of engineering and the potential of sustainable construction. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.